The Crestview Middle School Music Department visited Silver Dollar City for their Spring Festival Awards Ceremony. We're playing at like Branta against a bunch of other schools and like there's a scoring out of five. If you get one, it's the best. It's not really a competition because like all the teams can get one, but like it's like pretty good if you get one. Silver Dollar City recently opened their brand new ride, Fire in the Hole. This brand new attraction replaced the 1972 original. Fire in the Hole was developed by Rocky Mountain Construction and cost $30 million. The track is 1,512 feet long and spans 14 show scenes. Some students had the chance to ride Fire in the Hole. I mean, it was like 20 minutes away, but the way it's worth it because like, it has like a bunch of lore and then like there's some unexpected stuff. Like when it speeds up and like there's like a train ahead of you and you like go on their train like really fast. A couple of my friends have ridden it before and they said it was really good, so I thought to just try it out and see how it goes. I think it's really good. It's a really good um, scenic ride and there's also a couple of drops that are unexpected. I would say definitely ride it, even though if you're not the most thrill-seeking person, you might not enjoy it, but it's definitely really good for like the scenery and the unexpected drops. The music was also really good. It was definitely one thing that was positive. I liked it a lot. My favorite part of the ride would probably be the drop and all the um, buildings and the fireworks. It looked all realistic and everything. Be forewarned that there are a lot of drops. Not a lot, but enough to surprise you. The detailing is like super cool and it's just an overall re a really good ride. This is Associate Executive Producer Elliot Jorgensen signing off at Silver Dollar City with MHS News. Tower's gonna blow. Fire in the hole.